Worst way to catch a cheating wife. This will be long as it happened a few years ago, and I just finally felt like sharing it after reading many stories and experiences here. It's my hope my story will help someone else survive cheating. I was married nearly 20 years to my ex-wife I was a professional firefighter before we met I began my career when I graduated high school at 17 and enrolled in fire academy with a parent waiver I'm a fourth generation fireman and throughout our marriage, working my way as high as battalion chief before requesting demotion back to rescue captain of my department's rescue squad, since that was where all my certifications etc were in. Once Christmas Eve we received a call for a structure fire at an apartment building when we got on scene there was 18 residents unaccounted for we began rescue ops and in one unit I found a young husband and wife got them out, and as a tender changed my air bottle the young woman sitting with medics began screaming my baby my baby I ran up to her and asked her mom what kind of baby am I looking for dog, cat human or what. All she said was my baby over and over so I ran back in, a short time later I emerged with an infant, as I made my way out something inside the building blew sending debris everywhere I was hit in the back by a piece of wood like a giant splinter. I somehow still made it to the triage area handed off the baby and collapsed. That was when the splinter was found sticking out of me. I was helicoptered to a trauma center while on the way I passed away twice and revived, I was taken in for emergency surgery. The splinter had nicked my heart and I was dying. My wife was called by my crew and told of what happened and she told my crew that she was not coming she had better things to do than to worry about my ploy for her attention and how I was using my job to try and get into her panties. I was in the hospital for 30 days as they would not release me until they were sure I was healed enough to return home in a very rural area about 60 miles from where I worked and a real hospital. When I was released I tried to get my wife to pick me up she told me she didn't have time to make that drive. I had to beg for a ride home and when I finally found one through one of my crewmates. He accompanied me into my house making sure I was okay and not alone. We walked through my home looking for my wife since her minivan was in the driveway, when I opened our bedroom door I collapsed to my knees as my crew man came up behind me and shouted WTF are you doing? We opened my bedroom door to find my wife in bed she had a man under her in her kitty another behind her in her BTT and a third in her mouth. At first the thing that hit me most was the one in her BTT and mouth, things she never did with me and that I had never tried at all claiming I was too big and would gag her or hurt her. My friend helped me up he took me out, then went in and gathered me some clothes to take. He took me to another friend's home where we explained what had transpired. Later on the friend with me when I caught her told me when he went in to get things for me the ex and her boy toys never stopped what they were doing, and he took cell phone video without them noticing. A few days later my friends helped me find a lawyer and started the divorce process. Luckily our kids were already adults now so we didn't have that battle in divorce to put our kids through because in court I learned that everyone one in our friends group was getting some of my wife except me. She openly admitted to doing every man in town to the judge and how I was nothing but a paycheck and how she always hoped I'd die in the line of duty and she'd get that million dollar life insurance we had if I was killed on the job. When we met and throughout life, she was always sweet and naive she was a little slow in many things, but when her mom lost everything and moved in with us for a while that's when my wife began to change. Her mom didn't live in the same house the entire time as we bought a small building and turned it into a little cottage on the back end of our property so we could have all privacy, once I moved her mom out back is when I noticed the changes in her. 
It was hard for me to notice red flags etc. as I was the only one working and I would work 48 on and 24 off the normal is 24 on 48 off but because she refused to work I had to work double and even at times a second job to support five of us by myself. Wife two kids Mill and myself. Since catching her the home has been sold and everything split that was mutual property divided sold and split etc. My crew rallied around me being there to help me when needed as well as to help me try to fight my way back to duty status as well as be there when I need someone to talk to and so on. Most of these men and women on my crew lived in the city we worked in so it was an hour drive at least each way to assist me. I worked my ass off to get my career back I wanted to hit the 35 years of service mark then retire. When it came time to do my physical etc to return to duty I passed but was subsequently called into the chief's office where I was told, Captain you have two choices. One you can retire now at 30 years and keep your full pension and benefits or two we will medically retire you and you get half exclamation mark dot 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 I stuttered but I passed my return to duty tests. The answer I received was Captain you are one of not the best fire rescue specialist I have ever known but your age your injury history and well you recent diagnosis of PTSD coupled with bipolar the insurance company will no longer cover you due to high risk. So do you have a decision, I retired and left heartbroken and defeated. When my now ex-wife found out she began tormenting me over it all trying to drive me to suicide is my guess but instead of letting her when I left the area began working in animal rescue to help pass time, it was the lowest point of my life. Living in an RV trailer running an animal rescue and no one would give me a job. Sure I didn't need to work but I needed something to do. I swore off women except for my sister firefighter I didn't socialize or date etc for a long time. I thought I would never be in a relationship again, I didn't know if I could ever trust anyone ever again. Then it happened I began playing what I guess you would call once of those morp games where I met a woman, we would chat eventually exchanged numbers etc then 18 months later she decided she wanted to meet me telling my no way you're a perv or anything because no one is going to invest this long to pick a target, this made me laugh harder than I ever had in my life. I'll be honest I was reluctant at first because we had a 20 year age gap, Plus we were different races when where I live interracial relationships are still shunned yes it's Redneckville USA and basically still the stone age in many ways here but I agreed to meet her. I can say it was the best decision of my life, she was everything I could dream of and more. She was old fashioned like me, she was raised and believed a woman's one job, was her spouse and family not money and a career. I have no problem with a working woman but regardless man or woman family should always come before career or anything else. I guess it's kind of ironic in some way I lost my dad to the Vietnam War and here I am now married to a Vietnamese woman expecting our first child November of 2021. Cheating is horrible and maybe the worst thing we can go through. But please remember it is not the end of the world. Nor are all men or women the same as you cheating spouse. The keys are make time for you, get help and find yourself again. Take you time and remember something better is out there looking for you too. Suicide is never an answer. Giving up should not be an option. You are strong you can do it a life can be rebuilt and become a newer better one. Remember life and love will always find a way. Redditor's reactions. Redditor 1, I guess an update. I forgot to mention anything that ever became of my ex and some will probably wonder if she got her karma. Though we do not speak I hear about her through our kids every now and then. 
Our kids are very careful to not have us visit them at the same time they do tell both of us about the other when major things happen. So when word got out of what my ex-wife did she was run out of town which allowed me to move back to my hometown, where I now live in my late parents' old house with my new love and soon-to-arrive baby. The ex however has not fared as well as she has twice had online relationships that ended up being Nigerian scammers, the two real-life relationships she had both guys cheated on her using her for her large chest and other parts though honestly I'd anyone would want her a blow-up doll would be more fun and participate in bed more than my ex yes very vanilla missionary and doggy only. Yawns? The last I heard about her my 44-year-old ex not lives with her mommy in a one-bedroom house with five cats and five dogs and all she has is her work at a dollar store. Redditor 2, sounds fake to me. Redditor 3, my respects to you sir. You put your life on the line to save lives for many years you deserve way more respect it's an inspiration you didn't give up on life and found happiness. Redditor 4, she seems pretty vanilla. I mean, any woman taking it orally, anally, and vaginally sounds very vanilla.